Garfield says, type Garfield with your eyes closed. Since I can type without even watching my keyboard due to training and being a novelist, I wouldn't call that a challenge. Sorry, lol. Whoa, you spelled Garfield really wrong. Hello, my fellow intellectuals. That's right, it is I, your host, Daviticus the Bacorius. Today, we shall be diving on into a subreddit known only as I am very smart. I'm talking like this because I have an unchecked god complex that even my therapist is bewildered by. Anyways, I'm sure I'm boring you with this pointless drivel, so without further ado, let's go. If she can't figure out how to light a fire, she shouldn't be playing Zelda. What? How, how does that make sense? Okay, snob. That's not snobby. I'm an intellectual. Oh, <laughs> look out everyone. We got an intellectual here. Zelda's game logistics and mechanics are incredibly complex. If someone is struggling with lighting a fire, I can only imagine the struggle they will have in a dungeon. Ah, uh, these are the worst type of fans. Look, I personally love anything that comes from the Legend of Zelda series. So hearing some other fans say, oh, you shouldn't play it if you can't do so and so is so annoying. Don't listen to that person. Do whatever you want. My ex-girlfriend left me because I did not agree to her request to get sushi for her birthday. All I did is explain the dangers of Anasaka's parasites, I think that's how it's pronounced, that is found in raw fish. I wanted to invite her to a good restaurant, but she left in anger. I didn't take my girlfriend out to dinner to the place she wanted on her birthday. I wonder why she's mad at me, bro. It ain't rocket science, you're just a jerk. Nah, they should have used Obsidian. Or give Washington DC Bedrock, 192. You're clearly not experienced in Minecraft at all. If this were a Minecraft command, it would think DC was the item. So this command wouldn't work. The person slash thing that you are giving the item has to be one word. So it would be slash give Washington underscore DC Bedrock 192. Please do not mess this kind of stuff up. You're ruining the image of Minecraft players. No, 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 sir. You're ruining ruining the image of Minecraft players. If you had to guess, what was your most used word in 2020? What a pointless question with no real basis for inquiry. If only, instead of having a culture of frivolous remarks and artificiality, we had one intellectual and cultural exchange and problem solving. Then maybe we would define a purpose and align with our evolutionary potential. Don't forget, you're dealing with aberrated people. They're not responsible for their answers. They're victims of culture. That means they have been influenced by their culture. I can imagine this person on a date it goes like, so what TV shows are you watching? Ugh, TV? What a pointless question with no real basis for inquiry. If only instead of having a culture of frivolous remarks and- Yeah, I'm just gonna go. What the hell are you even talking about? I have never even been on your Discord server. I'm 14, taking all honors. And if you would put in the effort to ask around, I have been called one step away from being Gandhi. Oh, <laughs> okay. I personally disagree with that though. I know I have anger issues, but guess what? My my anger issues have gotten better since I started playing video games more. Ah, they're 14. I I'm gonna give them a pass, but this, this is almost unacceptable. Buzz Aldrin, I feel we need to remind the world about the Apollo missions and that we can still do what seems to be the impossible. There's a lot of sketchy stuff involving the moon landings. We do need to go back. There's zero reason it should take 50 years to make it happen again. Make us conspiracy think something was up there. And if you don't think there's any sketchy stuff about the moon landing, then you haven't fully done your research. Ayo hey, bud, that's Buzz Aldrin. He was the second person to be on the moon. If you're gonna say that it was sketchy, then you're gonna have to say that he's sketchy. That's like going up to Katy Perry and saying, I bet you don't even know all the words to fireworks. It's like, uh, dude, no. How are you so educated? I read statistics, unclassified FBI documents, and history in my free time. Most of what I know about life are things that I did not learn in school. School teaches you what to think, not how to think. America's education system is an indoctrination camp that sugarcoats atrocities and preaches a false dogma in order to keep its citizens brainwashed enough to prevent a revolution. It is not the only country that does this. I mean, I didn't like public school either, but dude, calm down. Sometimes I think about how much smarter I am than other people and how it would be over for everyone if I wasn't crippled by my mental health all the time. Yo, what do you mean over for everyone? What are you, some type of supervillain? Now that I've taken control of my mental health issues, I shall now take over the tri-state area. Like, dude, that's how you sound. You sound like an evil villain. What makes you special? What makes me special? I'm 5'11", i.e. taller than most Indian guys. I'm 17 and I own an iPhone 12 Pro. I have a PS5 as well and a gaming PC. Ooh, with RTX 3090, that's actually pretty impressive. I live in the United States of America, LA to be precise. My ex-girlfriends all have been white, something I'm proud of. Ooh, that's... <laughs> 
You're racist. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. I am an intellectual. I think that I'm a mix between alpha and sigma male. I'm a lone wolf type, but I'm very outgoing too. I'm working out to be more muscular at just 17 years of age. Most kids my age watch friends and crap. I read the Feynman lectures and watch more intellectual shows. I don't use crap like Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit. They're for normies. I only use Quora, LinkedIn, etc. Keep your standards. I like Italian food over Indian food. I want to become a billionaire. Billionaire. Biggest life goal. Most of my friends are into middle wage jobs. Dream higher and bigger, fellas. I like physics, math, astronomy, over low IQ subjects like art. Whoa, okay, that's taking it too far. How do you not love the arts? Like, how do people even go into arts? It's boring as hell and it doesn't make use of brain one bit. I'm a budding polymath and polyglot. I'm pretty fair skinned too. There we go with some racist ass comments. Yo, you're white passing. Good for you. I prefer relationships over hookups, as I've tried both of them. This dude is a hot mess. I mean, sure he's a teenager, 17, but no, he does not get a pass. He's racist, he's got an overinflated ego, he just seems like a bad person. My dog is really strong. Ha <laughs> ha. This style of humor has never worked for me. My brain is too analytical and cuts in front of this. And now I am picturing some adult finding a broken supercharger, realizing they are walking a dog, and little internet points sparkle around their head. Yeah, that that's actually probably what happened. Wow, you're, you're so fun. What a cool guy you are. You must be great at parties. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Oh, and that got one award. That's five H's too much, buddy. And now you have two options presented before you. You can either correct your spelling and only have lost one downvote, mine that's just cast, or you could choose to leave your bastardized form of the English language on exhibition and get a few hundred downvotes. Since you only have 2k karma in two years on Reddit, I recommend you choose wisely. Ooh, that's gonna hurt that guy's score. Oh, not the first guy. No, the second guy. Yeah, he deserves it. Hey man, don't discount that cousin. They'll probably be chilling together at some point. Huh, probably? Just spell the word out properly. It's P-R-O-P-E-R-L-Y. When you use language like this, it makes it clear that you're a bit of a dumbass. It's, uh, it's probably, not properly. Congratulations, you played yourself. Avatar was literally about anti-imperialism, anti-capitalism, and depicted in an incredibly realistic grim future of humanity attempting to strip other planets of resources after they ended up pillaging their own world to the ground. Rewatch it, your kid brain didn't understand it. No. Nope, no, dude, that's uh, that's kind of the plot of the film. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone understood that. That's why the main character, Jake, decided to team up with the blue people. Like, it, 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 I'm pretty sure that was part of the plot, right? Sorry, Blank. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you. You and I just wouldn't be happy together long term. I'm a future multi-billionaire. Don't talk to me like an idiot. I'm not your ideal whatever guy. Someone, some way, and that's okay. But I wish you would give me a chance. I can make your life a whole lot better and more adventurous and all around awesome. But if you don't want me, damn. And you are right. We are on different paths in life. You are a military person, and I'm a business genius. That is two different worlds to live in. But if you were with me, you could just not work and chill and travel the world all the time. But you don't want that. Way too much fun. Or maybe they want to live a fulfilled life in which they do work and are not spoiled by their partner so they could both be seen as equals. Clearly, you don't want that. You want somebody to take care of. Somebody who's reliant on you. That way, you have all the the power, you manipulative megalomaniac. Yeah, Hulk smash! I'm writing about the Incredible Hulk. How corny. If this guy were subjected to gamma radiation, he would be quite dead, possibly deformed. But the abnormality would not come and go with the change of his moods. The show annoys me. Therefore, I think that this repulsive show should be taken off air. I like science fiction, but it's going too far. Uh, hey buddy, you, you see that word right there? Uh, it's at the end of science fiction? Yeah, yeah, the word fiction. Go look up a dictionary to find out what it means. No, for real, do it. You might be surprised. The average human can hold their breath for 30 to 90 seconds. The cameraman who filmed Finding Nemo? Mmm, that's weak sauce. Downvote. Finding Nemo is an animation film, meaning that there were no camera crew. It was all made on the PC with 3D software. Hey guys, did you know Finding Nemo was an animated film? What? That's crazy. That's surprisingly deep. 
If this is deep, please, for the love of all that's holy, get off the internet. R slash you don't know crap about what is deep. I bet you like those Instagram pages that are like, follow for deep content. But if you want something deep, look up the compensation effect, not this surface level garbage. I agree, but you calling it out like this is way worse. Like nobody asked. I'm glad someone could say it. Agreed. I want new pronouns. My English PhD brain screams every time I see they them for a single person. That is incorrect grammar. Whew. Feels good to scream that. You know, I could go on a long tangent about how the English language is versatile and therefore using they, them pronouns in a singular setting isn't actually too out of pocket, but you know what? This person clearly isn't ready for it. With an IQ of 145, I don't see how wearing a mask can help when we all use the same door handles to get in the building and touch the same keypad. Hashtag COVID is fake. This guy does know that you have to wash your hands and wear a mask. Like those aren't mutually exclusive tasks where you can only do one. Is this guy just admitting he doesn't wash his hands? Dude, that's not a good look. The way she reconstructed and redefined what it meant to convey and obtain the concomposite anomalistic clearance showing us that divine idiosyncrasy is ebulliently inevitable when simultaneously substantiating what it's meant to be. Bish, what? Pretty much the lyrics of Take Me Out by Franz Ferdinand. World War I reference joke. I'm probably the only one who got that. Yeah, cause nobody else knows what World War I is, of course. You disgusting worms. I can machine in 12 different languages. I have an MA in fabrication and a doctorate in CNC. And even I think that the 3D guns are good for modern kids. You're not on my level, trust me. So take a mother effing seat and leave my people alone. I'm pretty sure he's defending video games for kids, but yeah, this, this ain't the way. I just noticed something about this picture. See? And then you draw these ones here. I, I actually don't know what it means, but yeah. Oh my god, for F's sake? I snorted. It's sad that I'm only 16 and I know what most of the equations are and how they work. Ah, uh, cool bro, what do you want, a cookie? And with that everyone, that's the end of our video. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like down below and don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of all our easy easy uploads. I'm your host David the Baker and if you want to hear more from me my channel link is down in the description below. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Till then peace out and three thumbs up.